Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about sandbox and how we can create the surface of water like a wavy water using sandbox. So if you right click here, go to the sandbox menu here, uh, you can put it wherever you want. I want to locate it over there. So first there are just a simple swimming pool or uh, maybe a small pond or something. Uh, I want to go with a rectangle. Uh, my focus here is the surface of the water, not the design of the swimming pool, so that part is up to you. Uh, maybe I can go with a rectangle, which is like um, 8 meter by 6 meters. Okay, how about I move it further away? Like around here. And uh, I want to make a group here, so it's going to be all in a group, make a group, double click on it so the group is open. I'm going to use offset or F for the shortcut and maybe it's going to offset outside by 0 0.5, half a meters. And I want to make another group from the edges, so uh, I want to select everything, hold shift, click once, so only the edges are selected. Now I want to make a group. Double click, use P to push this up, maybe by 0.9 meters. Uh, so the edges are in one group and the surface at the bottom is outside the edges group, so assigning materials would be easier. So uh, double click outside so we are not in the group. Soundbox menu is here. I want to click on it. And before drawing, maybe I can change the grid spacing. By default, I guess it's on 1, but let's say maybe we can put it on 0.5. If you want it to be really dense, you can go with like 0.25 or something. But then you can start drawing, so 0.25, click on the corners and over there. So this is going to be the surface of the water. I want to move it a little bit down, maybe around here. So we have enough room. Feel free to hide the pool. We don't need it. And this is the group. Uh, when you use from scratch, it's going to automatically create a surface as a group. So I need to explode it first. So it's not a group, right? Now you see I can select different parts like this, right? They're not in a group. And feel free to go with the second option here, or actually the third option, which says smooth. So I want to click once. I want to go with a radius of, let's say, 2 meters. So in these 2 meters, I want to move the points a little bit up or down, like this. Right? Uh, and then you can hit a space, select another area around here, and go with the same option. It's a little bit slow because 0.25 was a little bit too dense. Maybe 0.5 is a little bit better. It's not as slow and it's still good. Uh, hit a space, you can keep going. At uh, this part, I went also move it a little bit up or down, right? And uh, next, I would like to go with smaller uh, radiuses. Like if I only click here and go to smooth, this time I want to go with a radius maybe of 1 instead of 2. So this is going to be a little bit more delicate, the changes here. And uh, hit a space, select another area, move it up and down. Right, and we can keep going. Hit a space, maybe this area. Of course, maybe your swimming pool is not that much wavy, but um, if you have a pond or something, it's going to be wavier and it's going to look good actually. Hit a space. This time I want to select this area. I want to lower the radius to 0.5 so the changes are even more specific to this location. Uh, I want to hit a space here. Select this area. Smooth. Move it up. And you can keep going as much as you, you would like. Uh, so this is going to be the surface of your water. We can work a little bit on these edges. Feel free to change the radius again and uh, continue. Uh, I want to maybe go with these edges as well. Uh, and maybe I can go 
with 0.25 for the radius so these are some final touches on the water surface maybe also around here let's move move it down or a little bit higher okay that should be good okay uh, so let's say this is the water surface let's say we are happy with it I can uh, select everything here right click I want to soften the edges smooth the edges so it's more like the surface of the water and then we can of course make a group again so it was a group we exploded it we changed the ups and down and then we made a group again uh, feel free to go to style if it helps and you can go to edit remove the edges so it looks more uh, fluid shaped and I want to go with my hidden objects I want to unhide this area now this interesting part is here we can assign the material uh, I want to hide the water for one second and I want to double click here I want to assign some tiles to the bottom you know already that you can adjust the tile size or the position or everything and I want to bring this group back on height and I want to assign water so I need to go to select so the menu shows we want to go with water um, this one is a transparent water so if I click here you can see in the edit how do I know it's transparent because uh, this line here means that the tra there is some transparency if I assign this one go here you see there is not much transparency but if I change this it's also gonna become transparent and it's gonna change to something like this right so uh, assign one of the transparent ones now this seems good this is the surface of your water uh, you can of course keep making changes uh, explode the group go with more smooth items and continue make it wavier